It's one step at a time. For Corey Messler, the owner of Burke's Bookstore in Cooper Young. I have agoraphobia and it's hard for me to make it to the polling places. So for August election, he chose to vote by mail. And they sent me the forms right away and I, I filled them out and I sent them right back in. I thought, you know, I thought it was perfect. Perfect until. I would say a full two to three weeks after the election, I get this letter. A letter from the Shelby County Election Commission. Dear Corey Messler, unfortunately, your absentee ballot was not counted for the following reason. It goes on to state his ballot didn't arrive in time even though he says he sent it weeks before the deadline. It's worrisome, right? A feeling shared by others across Memphis. Here lately, it's just more and more. More delays for Lisa Anderson, who told us her mail has been arriving late, or not at all. My husband had bought some tickets to a car show in Kentucky. His parents live next door to us. His dad got his tickets. And my husband never got his. It doesn't make me feel good. Lori Ola says her most recent mail issue, this letter, sent August 29th from her family in Arizona. It arrived to her Memphis home September 24th. I don't feel like I can rely on them to get my mail, even my bills, or even a birthday card or anything to me. At this point, do you trust the USPS? No, I do not. Not at all. Experiences many of you shared with us. It's why we put it to the test. Well, it certainly wasn't scientific. Our experiment involved many of us at WREG sending letters from our homes, drop boxes, or post offices across the Mid-South. 25 letters sent from places like Highland Heights, East Memphis, Downtown, North and South Memphis, Whitehaven, Mud Island, Midtown, Hickory Hill, DeSoto County, Mississippi, and Crittenden County, Arkansas all within 30 miles of the letter's destination. Our results, 64% of them delivered the next day, 28% in two days. The rest arrived within four. Have we gotten the second shipment of plexiglass shields yet? There should be 250 more of them coming. At the Shelby County Election Commission, Okay. the results they've seen aren't as promising. Are you concerned? Well, I am concerned. In late September, Administrator Linda Phillips told us. We got two ballots that have been postmarked well before the August election, and we just received them. Phillips told us 27,000 people in Shelby County signed up to vote by mail in November's election. And to count, those ballots must be received by 7 p.m. Election Day. I would suggest that they mail them back as quickly as they get them. USPS workers told WREG you can also pay to send your ballot priority. You have to go to a post office to do it. It's $7.75, but it comes with a tracking number. Just another way to see where your ballot is and when it's delivered. We decided to give that a shot, sending a dozen priority letters again from across the county and state lines. We received all but one the next day. Tracking information shows a letter sent from South Haven was supposed to arrive October 14th, but it got stuck in a Memphis distribution center for 12 days. We finally received it today. We also had to pack our patients at some locations. The day we went to this South Haven post office, there was a long, slow moving line due to reported technical issues. And at this post office in Highland Heights, we were told the only worker allowed to use the cash register went on break an hour before the place closed. We waited until she got back, taking about 30 minutes to send the letter there. They never put a limitation on overtime. Back in August, the Postmaster General played defense in a House committee hearing over changes like moving equipment and limiting schedules to save money. Get me the billion and I'll put the machines in. Critics say it's made the Postal Service less reliable in recent months and then add skyrocketing online sales and staffing issues due to COVID. A spokesperson with the USPS only answered our questions regarding election mail. Stating in part, they are fully committed and actively working to handle it. They've allocated additional resources like extra transportation, extra delivery and collection trips, and overtime to ensure that election mail reaches its intended destination in a timely manner. As for Messler, before finding out about his August ballot, he signed up to vote by mail in November's election. <laughs> That's it. They said as soon as you get your ballot, fill, fill it out and send it in. So he did last week, dropping it off at his post office. He says he used the state's ballot tracker and got confirmation it's arrived. Jessica Gartler, WREG News Channel 3.